I just see the healing and the power of nature and the natural environment is just waiting for humans to connect to it, basically. I was trained as an upholsterer when I left school at 16. And then this was in Emerald in central Queensland. So I left, I just wanted to leave school. I didn't even know what an upholsterer was. So when I finished my apprenticeship, I moved to the Gold Coast and um, set up my own business. I had 14 years and decided to close the business up and travel overseas. Eventually I ended up living in Greece for four years and I was collecting organic materials there. Anyway, I ended up coming back to Australia and moving to Byron Bay in the Broken Head area. Every morning I'd walk down to the beach and one day I just picked this, this leaf on the ground just caught my eye and I picked it up and saw the beauty in this little Banksia leaf. So every time I walked to the beach every morning I'd start coming back with pockets of leaves and um, starting then to sew them onto canvas. And that was sort of the beginning of this art form. There's something in my mind that I thought, well, I won't waste all those, that 19, 20 years of upholstery, all that training I had and knowledge, I'd turn it into the art form as well. So from the leaves, I started looking at other fibres, and there was a lot of um, native bangalow palm fronds all on the ground. So I started collecting them and cutting them up and sewing them onto the canvas. I found hoop pine bark from old trees that had fallen in the forest. And I saw how amazing it is of a material because it never rots down. Um, the timber does, but the um, bark doesn't. These old barks could be you know, a thousand years old, I don't know, but they're huge trees that have fallen in a storm or something. And um, so I'm working with really old materials as well, which I like. Look, I do use a little bit of palm fibre as well. The materials I always looked for were very fibrous, like the leaves, once you start sewing them on, it's like weaving layer upon layer, so it does give them strength. And once those natural materials are out of the, the environment and inside, they'll last for a long time. At the end of a work, um, especially on the bark, I might put a, some linseed oil on it and it soaks that up and just um, enriches the material a bit more. And a young tree the bark is very metallic, golden, and it varies in colour. And it's just like a skin. It's a layer and a layer of skins. And it's the most amazing material. It's very strong. And it handles being sewn. I sold all my industrial machines because it was that constant humming noise of the motor. And I wanted to work in the quiet and with solar power and so I sold the big machines and just I just sew on a little domestic machine but I do push the machine to its limits <laughs> I do things you know you should never do on a sewing machine I break quite a few needles but that's um, <laughs> the name of the game and in a lot of the work I paint the canvas blue first so sometimes you get a hint, a little surprise of a, the blue coming through the bark because there could be a few little holes in the bark and um, I like that element of surprise. But with this work I wanted to just highlight the blue like a grid, a netting sort of protecting the bark a little bit. I just love texture. I don't like flat surfaces terribly much. I just wanted to create it back to that tree trunk form. 
I'm seeing them as totems, actually, because I've been living in nature for a long time now, and the beauty of nature is what sustains me, really, in gardening. I read once that the messages the trees are giving humans is just to be still. And I find that very poignant, really, because our lives are so hectic and everything. But the tree is solid and it's stable, but so much alive. And um, I like that connection. There's so much written about trees today, and the ancient Essenes, when I first started working with bark and that, they always saw the trees as their brothers. And I like that too. The bark for me is beautiful to begin with. And that was the stimulation for the art form. So I'm working with a material that has a natural beauty in itself. The weathering and um, the oldness of it. And it gets very gnarly as it ages and um, the knots in it and everything. Um, all have a beauty about it. So really, I'm just using a material that is beautiful to start with. So it's, it's, it's kind of when you surrender to the work and not trying to control it so much, is it's giving its life back in another way. So that was the sort of basic journey of my art was to try and get that message out for us to connect to nature more and see the beauty in a leaf and the beauty in bark and um, the natural world.